Previously on For the Love of Pastry Cats. Why? Hey, Tsuriko! I have an idea! Is it a prank, bruh? I asked accusingly, but his smile only grew. Yep! Rally! You can't just go around pranking everyone, bruh! Especially on a goddamn date, bruh! But, but, Tsuriko! We made a miss. Yeah, he made a miss of your shop, you know? I frowned for a second before realizing that he was right. Benjamin had come into my shop and made a mess twice, but I don't I don't think he meant it though, I mean Dale. Alright, bruh. You know what? Fine. I'm game. What do you have in mind, bruh? We let the sheep out, bruh! Bradley Bruh! That is like the most lame ass prank I ever heard! Let's fucking do this! Alright, Radley! Alright! So, this prank that you're thinking right now, bruh? Bruh? I mean, I don't mind releasing the sheep, but I believe we could do better, bruh, don't you think? Yeah! I mean, why not, like, I don't know, shave the sheep, you know? Ah! Or just write Benjamin, or what's the other name? Uh, no, Benjamin's the guy. Bethany and, uh... Was it Barbara? She I forgot. Yeah, we could just write their name. Sheep part, you know? I mean, that could be a good prank, don't you think? Yeah! Oh, uh, whatever. I guess releasing a sheep is good enough. Ah, uh, anyway. So... Radley! Come on, Tudico! It'll be great! He bounced from foot to foot and waited for me to give him the okay. Fine, fine. If it was just releasing the sheep, I guess. I mean, damn, we could do more, you know, damn. His excitement was staring. Or no, starting to rub off on me, and I let out a short laugh. Yes, come on! He grabbed my hand and dragged me towards the pen. It took us a second to find where the gate was, and then another minute to figure out how to open it. Rally! Bratch! Bratch! Hurry, hurry up, man! It's probably like nearby, and I, sh I don't want to be caught, you know what I'm saying? Yeah! I hissed out, trying to keep as quiet as I could, you know? I know, I know! There! Oh! He jumped back victoriously as the gate released and swung open. The two sheep looked at us dumbly and let out a few buzz. Neither of them moved an inch. Oh, uh, okay. Bernard. Bethany. What's going on? Oh, it's Bernard. Not... What did I say last time? Barbara? Oh, wow. Anyway, uh, oh, shit. He's there! My eyes widened and I froze. Run! Uh, what? The rally laughed and grabbed my hands running back to where we came from. Shit! <laughs> We both ran back towards town and only stopped running when we could see the fountain again. Caught our breath and both burst into laughter. Bruh! Bruh! I don't even think the sheep left! Shit, we didn't accomplish anything, bruh! Damn! I, I pouted while still letting a few giggles escape. It was still fun though, right? He was once again bouncing excitedly. We should like get back now! You have like cupcakes to make, you know? He sounded enthusiastic as usual, but looked disappointed at his own words. Right, uh... Bruh, uh, I, I wouldn't want to keep the deliciousness of my pastries away from any customer, but, you know... I don't mind the second day, you know, we could go, I mean, just... You know, the sun is, the sun is not settled, or not settled, the sun is not set yet, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we could still go on a day. Yeah, night day, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm cool with night days, bro. damn! I nodded and started walking forwards. Rally followed and I realized we were still holding his hands. Oh! I coughed and dropped his hands, you know? <clears throat> yeah, look, looking away and pretending that it didn't happen, you know? Yeah. <laughs> the walk to my bakery was short and when we were at the door, Rally shuffled from one foot to the other, looking like he was waiting for something. <gasps> what are you waiting, bruh? What are you waiting, bruh? A kiss, bruh? You want a kiss, bruh? Well, you know what, bruh? Well, see you later. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, bruh, sorry man, Tony Cole says later, so, yeah. I don't think you're getting that kiss, bro, damn! I gave him a smile and walked to the door. Uh, yeah, but, see ya, Tony Cole! He stepped backwards and then paused. Uh, I had fun! Oh, bruh! Same! Yeah! I was surprised with the thought that, you know, I was lying about that. It was fun. I never expected to actually have a good time on a date with Riley, you know what I'm saying? Damn! I step into my shop and Riley walk backwards. Or back towards, I mean, his house. I watched after him, confused. I found myself kinda... Kinda... Not wanting him to leave, you know? This was weird. Really weird. Ow! Well, hold on, it's, it's getting there, it's, it's, kinda of getting there, damn! Oh! I don't think I could make it in time, though, damn! Hold on, hold on, so... Apparently I missed, like, three? Ah, oh, god damn! Hopefully I get a good ending, damn! Let's hope, you know what, no, not hope, I will, and I'll try! Yeah! Maybe it's impossible, but you know what? You know what? I will do the impossible! Yeah! So let's do this! Hey, is that a cupcake? Damn, that looks nice! Anyway, let's go! Oh my god, is that a chocolate cake with a cherry on top dial? Anyway, yeah, let's go! Seven! Uh, here's your order! I hope they're... to your liking, sir, ma'am! I smiled at the customer that stood at the other side of the counter and placed a box of 12 cupcakes in front of her. Uh... Oh, Tony Co, these are beautiful as usual, but, uh, they're vanilla. She gave me a sort of sad smile and I gasped as I realized she ordered chocolate cupcakes. Son of a- uh, 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 shit, uh, I'm sorry about that, ma'am. Uh, l let me go grab your, uh, your, your correct order. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I scooped the box up and dove into the kitchen. This was at least the third fucking time that I've done this today! Why? Maybe it was four? Oh shit! I quickly unfold a new box and put 12 chocolate cupcakes in it. Then I returned to the front and put the new box in front of her. I'm- Ma'am, I'm so sorry, but yeah, I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> Don't worry, everybody has bad days. These look lovely. Thank you so much. She placed the correct amount of cupcakes, or what amount of chips I mean damn, on the counter and walked out with the box. I scooped the chips off of the counter, dropping a few into the process, and placed the ones I actually scooped successfully into the register. I knelt down and picked up the ones that fell. The door opened and I jumped up to, to greet the customer, yeah! Up! Oh shit! Oh! Oh god, I forgot I was underneath the table, damn! I hit my head on the drawer of the cash register and I found myself kneeling on the crowd again. Damn! Why didn't I choose that stupid thing? Ah! I stood up slowly, this time moving away from the offending drawer, damn! Uh, <clears throat> Hello! Welcome to Tony Cole's Pastries! I smiled as wide as I could and put the few chips away and made sure to close the drawer this time. Oh! Are you alright, miss? That sounded like it hurt a bunch. A younger girl, oh it's a girl, okay, a younger girl looked up at me with doe eyes. I'm fine, uh, what can I get you for today? She burst into a giant smile and pointed to the cake. It's mama's birthday, pop sent me to get a cake, any cake. Alright girl, uh, let me like just grab that for you, yeah. I carefully picked up a paste of purple cake with beautiful eyes and flowers as decoration, you know what I'm saying? My skills, yeah. I put it in a box and told her the total. She pulled more than enough chips out of her pocket and dropped them on the counter and waited. I scooped them up success successfully, I mean this time, and put them in the register. Thank you! I smiled and waved to her. She stood there for a minute and just stared at me. See, what? Uh, was I forgetting something? Why was she being so... creepy? What? Miss, what about my change? She pouted. Oh, right! Right! Change! Dial the change! <laughs> just, just a test gun, I'm sorry. I'm just testing you, go, dial! I pulled out the key of the register and opened it. 
Taking out the girl's change and handing it to her. She puts the chips in her pocket and grabs the cake. She practically ran out of the shop and I let out a long sigh. Maybe I did hit my head too hard? Why was I like acting like this? Damn. Get yourself together, Tony. Go damn. Damn. I sucked my cheeks a few times and nodded determinedly. I can do this, girl. I can do this. I'm Tony. Go damn. I'm amazed. Tony. Go damn. I'm not gonna let some guy distract me from my work. Yeah. Okay, it wasn't some guy, it was Riley, you know, yeah. Even more a uh, reason to not let him distract you, yeah. He isn't even here, Dio. But I couldn't stop thinking about him, you know. Yeah, I wonder why. I sighed again. More like I couldn't stop thinking about whether I actually liked him or not. How could I think that without being disgusted? A few days ago, all I could think was, Ew, and... It's for the cake, you know what I'm saying? It's for the cake! <laughs> I, I blink a few times when I when a hand was thrust in front of my face and it's started waving. What? Oh! I, I jumped back, damn! Startled and found myself looking directly at the guy who had been plaguing my thoughts all day. If you keep zoning out like that, Carver will march right into your kitchen to steal your recipe book, Tony Co. He laughed as I calmed myself down. And glared at him. Don't, brother, don't just jump out in front of people like that, alright? Dial! What do you mean? I've been here for like, what, five minutes? I raised my eyebrow and he paused. Okay, okay, M maybe like uh, two, yeah! Wait, wait, oh, shit, what, what time is it? Oh my god, you're back early, yeah! Weren't you on deliveries? Did you like dump thing all in the river or some shit? Oh, did you trash my fucking cupcakes and all the cakes and stuff? What? Ouch, Tony Co. He looked physically hurt. I would never do that. You have no faith. Never, bruh? If I recall, you did a fucking prank on me with the fucking cupcakes and shit. Yeah! So! Never? My eyebrow found itself even higher on my head. Never again, you know? Yeah, never again, but you actually did it, bro, damn! Hey, wait, he pouted to hold back a laugh and I rolled my eyes. I finished early because I wanted to have time to go out today. I mean, uh, you know, if you want to go out again, I want to go out again. I had fun yesterday. You said you had fun too. You meant it, right? So do you, Radley, bruh. I threw my hands up to cut him off. I don't know. Today isn't really a good day, and I'm like, yeah. Y yeah, I heard people saying that you've like, yeah, you have seemed really down today. That's why I finished early. I wanted us to go out again so we can have fun and you can cheer up. His innocent smile was contagious, Diamond, and I found myself smiling back at him. That was really sweet of him. Bro! Okay, okay, fine, yeah. I mean, we can go out later, but, you know, I have a bunch of, you know, a brownies that I need to be made for the mayors first, so, yeah, could you wait if that's cool? Uh, oh, oh, yeah, uh, I'll help! He jumped up and down a few times. Oh, no. My eyebrows knitted together. Radley, bruh, I... Please, Tony Co. please! I, I, I don't think you could... Please! Come on, Tony Co. I can help! Fine, bruh! Fine! Yay! His smile grew and he walked to the door and flipped the sign to closed. I sighed and walked into the kitchen to prepare the ingredients. That brownies. Yeah. It only took me a few moments to properly measure everything and by the time I was ready to start mixing rally came into the room. Uh, uh bruh, what are you? He was wearing three. Three! Aprons! Are you serious, bro? Uh, and a pair of gloves on top of his usual pair. Brother, are you wearing gloves over gloves? Bro, uh, why? That's not how protection works, bro. I mean, shit, don't you know the rules? It's the same as condoms. You don't do a double fucking protection, bro. Brother, one is enough, man. Fuck! And three aprons, style. Bruh! How? What? What? Are you that? Uh. 
this guy. Seriously, this guy. God damn. Better be clean and dirty, you know? It's that your fucking version of better safe than sorry, Tile? His only reply was a giggle, and I sighed and shook my head. Look, dude, uh, do, do you want to start mixing and uh, I'll get the tray ready? Yeah? Yes, ma'am! He saluted goofily and got to work. I grabbed my des uh, designated brownie pad and started putting a light layer of grease on it. I found myself looking over at Radley and I realized he was stirring slowly. Extremely! Slowly! R Radley! Bruh! T Tony girl! Don't be afraid to make a mess, bruh! I mean, shit! We're in the kitchen! It's okay! And shit! You're wearing three aprons and two fucking gloves, damn! He let out the loudest gas I think I've ever heard in my entire life. Tony go! Rally, bruh! What, what are you suggesting? He looked absolutely distraught and I couldn't help but laugh. I placed the grease tray down on the counter and walked over to where Radley was standing. Brett, look, here. Uh, how, okay, I'll mix, okay? Can you, like, at least tidy up a bit, if that's cool? Yes, uh, can do. He hopped away from the mixing bowl and stood beside me for a minute, watching as I stirred at the proper reasonable pace. You're really good at that, Tony Cow. I would fuck it up so damn I only do it every day of my life, you know, yeah? I rolled my eyes and I stood a few more times before putting the whisk down. Noah, I mean it! You're like, the mixing master! The mixing mistress? You know, uh, if they had a mixing competition, Carver wouldn't be able to reach your level! Of mixing skills, of course, yeah! I mean, uh, other ways too, you know? He shrugged and I laughed. Of course, bruh, I mean, damn! I got skills, you know, I got skills! Everybody knows Carver and I will never! I mean, never be on the same level, damn. I gave him a confident grin, and he replied with a warm smile. There's the Tonico I know and love. He leaned over and... Did you say love? What? Wait, he leaned over and what? Okay. Oh! Say what now? Kiss me? Like in the kitchen while making brownies, damn. Or when I'm mixing shit, damn, bruh. Wait, wait, what? L -l 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 he, he loves me? He loves me? What? Why did he kiss me? I mean, it was just a cheek, but damn. Oh, it's a cheek, not the lips? Oh, God. That, bro, you gotta go for the lips. That, I mean, it's, it's cool, though. Cheek is cool. Cheek is cool. Cheek is cool. Yeah, cheek is cool. I feel my cheeks grow hot, and he laughs non nonchalantly. Yeah, then he walked over to do the dishes as if nothing fucking happened. Oh! <sighs> Hold on there, bub! He couldn't just kiss a girl and walk away, damn! And what was that about love me, bruh? Was that a confession, brother? Wait. It, wait, it, it was just saying, right? Just saying? You just saying, bruh? Are you just saying or, or did you mean it? I shook my head as I realized I had just been standing there staring at him. I mean, damn. The brownies mixed... Star, uh, what stared up at me, and uh, I dove to grab the tray and then dumped the batter into it and quickly threw it into the oven. I faced away from Rally as I tried to, you know, sort out my thoughts. Now I was like, yeah, what was that? What did it mean? Why was I reacting like this? Damn, it was just for the kick, you know, just for the kick, and I'm like, damn, but, but there were no feelings here except Rally's feelings. Oh, wait, 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 what is that supposed to be, Tony Go? Wait, wait, no, no, you, you're just saying it, right, Tony Go? You don't mean it, right? You don't mean it, right? What if he really did love me? I was tricking my best friend into falling in love with me, and it was working? I was startled, yeah, out of my thoughts by the oven beeping loudly, and jump up to pull the now-finished brownies out. Oh, uh, they're done. Great. We can go now. Rally bounced over energetically and looked as excited as a kid in a candy store. Oh, uh, y yeah. Yup. Uh, we, we, we can go. Yeah. I nodded more to myself than him. Okay, uh, let's go to the fountain. 
He grabbed my hand and practically dragged me out of the kitchen. Bruh, let me, bruh, let me change at least, damn. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, okay, uh, but can I please change? I mean, I don't want to go out with my work clothes, damn. Tried so, I tried to sound as excited as he was, but I couldn't get out of my mind long enough to accomplish it. We were both quiet on the walk to the fountain. I couldn't think of anything to say and I was pretty sure that Radley was content just to be in my presence. Neither of us had said anything until we were sitting down. I looked around and the town square was oddly quiet considering the festival was two days away from now. The only elves around were a group of children and their two designated caretakers. Hey, uh, Tony Co. Radley looked over at me, grinning his stupid, dopey, cute, annoying grin. It's been a long time since, uh, we've done anything outside of work. I was really happy when you asked me out, you know? Even just sitting here doing nothing together is nice. He squeezed my hands. I could feel my guilt rising and before I could say anything, a little girl was standing in front of us. Say what? Uh, staring with a familiar doe-like eye. Is that your boyfriend, miss? She, she was grinning from ears to ears in a very Radley-ish way. Or maybe Radley really did just grin like children do. Yeah. I wasn't sure what to say and I hesitated for a sec. Uh, she isn't my girlfriend yet, but I'll tell you a secret. He leaned forward on the bench and his eyes had that mischievous glint that I knew all too well. One day, I'm going to marry her. Oh! What? That? What? what? That was the last thing I was expecting and it caught me even more off guard than the girl's question, damn. Uh, uh, the little girl squealed and let out a few giggles. Cute! You two are cute! Can I come to your wedding? Sure! R Riley, Brad, uh, I'm not ready for this shit, Brad, to help! The little girl ran away giggling and I stood up from the bench. He jumped up and grabbed my hand before I could walk away. He tried to link our fingers together, and I pulled my hand away. This was too much. I couldn't use him like this. Oh, Brad, but, but girl, girl, you, you do have a little, like, love for Riley, right? Right? I, I had to at least tell- Oh my god! Hold on! Hold the fuck on! Tell, tell him what? Tell him what? That you don't love him and you use- No! No, girl! No! There was love! Girl! Wait! What? Oh, shit! Oh, god. Oh, god. Oh, god. I've been using you down the- ah. I mean, it is the truth, bro, Dion, but... Okay, hold on. I don't think we feel so... I'm so sorry. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Think. Think. What does the brother want to hear? None of these for show, but Dion. If it was one of it, which one does he want to hear? The most. Not the most, but... Preferable, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ah, oh, shit. Really? I've been... Okay, think. If I was in Radley's place, if I was Radley, right? I don't think we feel... The okay. This is the worst, I think. I don't think we feel the same is the worst. That That's straight up saying, like... Yeah, it was only you who were thinking about that, so yeah. I mean, I was just, you know... Yeah, you know, I didn't want to let you down kind of deal, so no! No. But what if it was this one? <laughs> Fuck. No, no, it can't be. I'm so sorry. Okay. Think, think. It's either these two. I'm thinking. I'm thinking, okay? Okay, okay, think. If Tony Cole, if I was Riley, if Tony Cole said I've been using you, of course I'll be fucking shocked, right? But... See, I feel like the top one has more hope, you know what I'm saying? Because, compared, like, for example, I don't think we feel the same way. It's pretty much saying, yeah, you're the only one who thought about it, kind of deal. So that's a big fucking no, you know? And I'm so sorry, kind of, it's, 
it's kind of saying that uh, it's pretty much similar to the second one, but you do you didn't actually mean mean to do it, and it kind of makes me feel like so you were just using or it's oh my god, it's everything's the same shit. Fuck. But then if you just said I've been using you, right? Of course, I'll be shocked, but then I'll think through what we've been through, you know what I'm saying? Not just when we were childhood, but like all the dates we have and how we enjoy it and such, so... Yeah. If you don't say anything else, then yeah, I would think through probably like that. Because this is straight up saying no. This, you are saying no, but like... You're telling me the truth. Because you actually care about me. You know what I'm saying? Or about, about Rally, you know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, but fuck! I don't... Oh my god, am I spending like two minutes on a fucking just style? Okay, okay, I gotta choose, uh... Fuck! Okay. I'm gonna tell the truth. Rad, I'm really sorry, man. I mean, yes! I was using you, but... There was love in it, too. You know? Bruh? I'll prove it to you. Yeah, I gotta prove. Yeah. Okay. Oh fuck. Hopefully this is right. Hold on. I don't like that dialogue. I really don't like that dialogue. Ah oh, fuck. Fuck. Look, Rads. Took a deep breath. Fuck. I, I've just been using you, you know? I didn't ask you out because I like you. I needed to get you to love me for a recipe, you know? Oh, yeah? Yeah, I saw that recipe! I thought that was why! What? He gave me a non kalan grin and I couldn't help but glare at him. Wait. Brother, you're okay with this? I mean, I told you that I've been tricking you to fall in love with me and... And... Toniko! You... No! Bro, no! Listen here! You can't just let people use you, Radley! I'm using you for a recipe and... Toniko! I already know! Calm down! He looked concerned and... He put a hand on my... One of my shoulders. I was just glad that, you know, you gave me a chance in the first place. He smiled. No. Yes, he did smile, and his smile pushed me closer to tears and despair. I was an awful friend. Why was he okay with this? Bruh! Don't say that! I'm using you! That's not okay! I pushed him away from me turn and march back towards my shop, not bothering to pay attention to whether Radley was following me or not. I, I charged into the shop and locked the door behind me. After taking a few calming breaths, I made my way up to my room and tried to keep myself from crying. I used my best friend. I made him love me. All for some cake. For this festival. All because of some stupid rivalry now. Now? How could I face Radley knowing that I very well could be breaking his heart? I couldn't use him like this. Radley deserved somebody better than me. I threw myself onto my bed and hugged the pillow, curling around it. I'm sorry, rats. Sorry. Toniko! It's okay, Toniko! Believe in yourself, Toniko! Believe the lip, Toniko! Toniko! <laughs>